Acting to Mayor Robert Rickard's veto of a one-time $1,000 bonus, commissioners passed it last week. The sheriff was hopeful it would help him retain deputies. Apica Soros spoke to one BSO employee who says decisions like the veto are driving workers away. Sergeant Richard Centers served with the Macon Police Department for five years in the Bibb County Sheriff's Office since consolidation. Right now, there are 18 open positions in his department. As um, bad as things are, you know, that would have at least been a step in the right direction. Sheriff's Office reports they are more than 180 people short in a department of around 400 people. Center says Mayor Rickard's veto for a one-time $1,000 bonus for county employees is a slap in the face. I wish he would resign the day because we definitely need new leadership in this city. The whole time he's been the mayor here, he has devastated the police department, the fire department, and the employees of the city. The mayor sent this letter to county employees, explaining he believes the $2.3 million cost should be used to build up county reserves. He says a pay scale study needs to be a priority, saying spending this money now hampers their ability to give them raises. A deputy with the sheriff's office starts at about $32,000 a year. And then according to this pay scale, they would get a 4% increase every two years. That 2015 pay scale study was never implemented. A new study would cost the county more than $160,000 and millions of dollars to implement. Center says it needs to be done, but he's skeptical. One and a half percent raise one time in 15 years. I don't think anybody anywhere would work for a company or a government that that was their track record. Center says he's thought about leaving, but instead of backing down, he's standing up. In Macon, Abby Casores, 13 WMAZ News. Commissioner Joe Allen says he's sponsoring a proposal to overturn the mayor's veto. He needs six votes to do that. Commissioners Valerie Wynn, Elaine Lucas, Virgil Walken say they support Allen's proposal. Commissioner Mallory Jones says he thinks the bonus is needed, but he's undecided on whether he'll overturn the veto. Commissioners Larry Sussinger and Al Tillman say they're going to support the mayor's decision. The other commissioners did not return our phone calls. The bonus originally passed six to zero.